Today we're going to take a look at the MinRay PTZ camera. It's a PTZ camera that has all the usual connectivity on it, like SDI, HDMI, uh, RS-232, but its IP configurability makes it uh, unique in that we can control it through so many different devices. So what we have here is we have an RS-232 control surface, we have a Scarhoy uh, switcher control surface, not one of their PTZs, but we'll show how it's mapped to um, PTZ presets. We have a copy of vMix uh, 4K or higher, which has PTZ control, and then we have the UI. So let's start off with the physical control units, and then we'll move on to uh, the virtual ones when we take a look at the software. So many PTZ cameras are capable of being controlled via a serial device. So it's the RS-232, and that's how PTZ control uh, cameras have been controlled for thousands of years. They uh, had serial controls, uh, serial cables, daisy chained from one to the next, and each has their own unique ID. And if we grab the joystick here, we can see that it's very easy to zoom in and out and left and right, and we can set this controller up for PTZ presets. And there's not a bit of IP or um, computer involved there. It's just this simple control, inexpensive control surface controlling the camera. And then uh, we also have the Scarhoy controller, which is connected to a network. Uh, and the, it's been programmed. We've programmed its presets to talk to the MinRay over IP. So what I've done is I've set a few presets here so that when I go through those different presets, it's communicating directly with the camera. And then, interestingly, I also have set up vMix to uh, have some, some presets, which I'll show you in a second. Not pre Yeah, I've set up PTZ presets in vMix, and when I fire them off, they're also uh, communicating with the camera. So this control surface is actually triggering vMix to control the PTZ camera, and we'll take a look at that now by uh, hopping into the software. So in the software we have two different methods of communicating with it. We have um, we can log into the camera directly which has controls for controlling its zoom. Uh, we can control the speed at which it moves so it can move less. Um, we can zoom in and out at different speeds as well. And then we can also set presets for them. The other nice thing about the um, software interface is we have the ability to go into the configuration mode and we can uh, adjust things like how it's doing its streaming, whether it's doing H.264, H.265, uh, publishing streams via RTMP, RTP multicast, uh, various video parameters. Um, we can put uh, on screen uh, display for fonts. Um, if we wanted to put some just basic text on each image to let uh, each image know where it is. Um, video out format, so we can choose different uh, play out resolutions. So we have whole frame rates and then we have partial frame rates. Uh, how the network port is configured, uh, what the IP address, subnet mask, whether we're using DHCP or not. Um, there's all kinds of different settings in here. and. We can go into them later. There's also the audio configurations as well. But um, as far as controlling the camera, doing that here via the PTZ um, settings here lets us set presets and control it. But we could also use um, we can also use vMix. So what we've done is we've gone into our camera here and we've gone to the PTZ tab and we've connected to the IP address, which then lets us communicate with it. And we've created several new presets. So these presets let us go around. So if all we had was vMix here to communicate with um, the MinRay camera, we could just use vMix to go to these different preset points. But we also have several other methods of communicating with it, and let's review. We have the serial controller controlling the PTZ camera. We have the presets in on the control surface to control it via IP. 
we have the software control. So if we don't have a PTZ, a serial controller, uh, a Scarhoy IP based controller or vMix, we can just log into it via the software. Um, we also have vMix to control it and we're doing all four of these at the same time. There's been no lapse in the ability to control this, whether I'm adjusting it with this uh, joystick or this preset or vMix or the Scarhoy controller or the software, it's moving all of those all at the same time. Um, and lastly, of course, it comes with a remote. So the physical remote, you can just aim it at it and use it to control it. So the neat thing about the Minray camera is its level of controllability simultaneously between all of these different platforms, making it an excellent product for a variety of different productions. This is the 12X model. Uh, it also comes in 20X and it has a SDI version and it has a USB uh, version. But I like the SDI version because we have it plugged into the splice. Uh, we could also bring in an RTSP feed from it so that we could connect it directly to vMix that way with some latency. So there's a lot of connectivity with the unit and that means it's uh, flexible and easy to use in a variety of situations. So if you have any questions on it, please feel free to check us out at usbroadcast.co or give us a, a call at 617-848-0898. Thanks. Bye.